Hey guys, welcome back to our HTML learning series. In the last video, we learned about headings, paragraphs, and formatting tags. Basically, how to make our content look clean and well organized. Today, we're moving forward and learning about lists in HTML. We use lists everywhere, shopping lists, to-do lists, study plans, and even reasons why we're still single before we jump into today's topic. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe and support us. So, let's dive in. What are lists in HTML? Lists help us organize and display information neatly on a web page. There are two main types of lists, first ordered lists. Ordered lists used when the order is important, like steps in a recipe. Second, unordered lists, unordered lists used when the order doesn't matter like a grocery list. Let's explore both. Coming to first point, ordered lists all tag. When order matters, think about preparing for an exam. You probably follow a certain routine. Wake up, check phone, have coffee, study, sleep again. For things that need to follow a specific sequence. We use an ordered list in HTML. All stands for ordered list and numbered list. Lee is used for each item in the list. The list automatically numbers the items in order. You can change the numbering style using the type attributes. Like this. Coming to second point, an ordered lists you all tag. When order doesn't matter, imagine making a shopping list. The order doesn't matter, you just need to buy everything. For lists like this, we use an unordered list in HTML. UL stands for an ordered list is a bulleted list. Lead tag is used for each item in the list. By default, it shows bullet points instead of numbers. And also one more list called nested lists. Nested lists lists inside lists. Sometimes, we need subcategories inside a list. For example, if you're packing for a trip, you might have separate lists for clothes, electronics, and snacks. Here's how you can create a nested list in HTML. Topics covered in this video. Ordered lists all tag use when the order matters, like steps in a recipe or rankings. An ordered lists ul tag use when order doesn't matter, like a grocery list. List items lead tag use the individual items inside both ordered and unordered lists. Nested lists list inside another list to keep things organized. That's it for today, guys. Now you know how to create lists like a pro, but wait. What if you want to add links to a website or images to make your list more fun? That's exactly what we'll cover in our next session, links and images in HTML. Day 4 task for you, now it's your turn. Open your day 3 code and try creating an ordered list for your daily routine. An unordered list of your favorite movies. A nested list for different food categories. If you want this code, it will be available on our Telegram channel. Check the link in the description to access it. Drop a comment if you have any doubts. And I'll be happy to help if you found this video helpful. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more HTML lessons. See you in the next video.